Lieutenant Brannigan, Mr. Southstreet, Mr. Charlie, it is the Lieutenant Brannigan of the New York Police Department. A pleasure. Any of you guys seen Nathan Detroit? Who is Nathan Detroit? Is that? I mean, Nathan Detroit has been wearing a photo crap game around here and getting away with it by moving to different spots every night. Why are you telling us this? Yeah, um, I'm telling you this because I know you three bombs work this way, busting up customers for his crap game. You do? Yeah. Mm. You can tell him to me that I know that right now he's running around trying to find a spot. Well, nobody's going to give him a spot because they all know that Bradigan is breathing down their neck. Oh, uh, Nathan, that was a man of terrible trouble. Everybody's scared of the kind of that lousy Bradigan and that day. Something wrong, Mr. Detroit? Oh, hello, Lieutenant. I hope you didn't think I was talking about you. There were other lousy candidates, you know. Just worried I'd just be talking to your colleagues about your crap game. I imagine you're having trouble finding the place. Well, the heat is on, as you must know from the fact you now have to live in your own cell. Did you find the place? Is that shop? What am I, a sex maniac? I really want a crap game for the convenience of those who have a little cash. In return for which I get a small cup. Is that a crime? Yeah. Nathan, did you find a place? Did you find a place on the day? Did I find a place? Did I find a place? Yes, I found a place. We are holding the crap game tomorrow night at Radio City Music Hall. But how are you going to fix the ushers? I tried all the radio places, the back of the cigar store, the funeral parlor. Nathan, you once said there might be a chance for the Bobo Garage. Yeah, it was over to the Bobo Garage. I speak to Joey Bobo himself. He says he might take a chance and he let me use the place. If I can give him a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks? Cash. You won't take my marker. Your marker's no good, huh? What do you mean? A marker ain't just a piece of paper that says, I owe you one thousand dollars sent me to the train. No, a marker is a pledge which a guy can't well try. It'd be like, uh, not so in the flag. My marker's as good as gold, only Joey Goodwin <laughs> don't think so. It doesn't seem possible. I mean, without a life to Why haven't I been running the crap game ever since I was a juvenile boy? But Nathan, can't you do something? What can I do? I'm broke. I'm leaving my Adelaide today. You know what day today is? It's mine and Adelaide's 14th anniversary. Yeah? Yeah. We've been engaged 14 years. <laughs> Nathan, concentrate on the game. It's time for the hero play players. The greatest in town. The Fillmore Garage wants a friend, but we ain't got a friend on hand. And there's now a lock on the door, and it's Jim at public school 84. There's a stop room behind the Klopsky's bar, but Mrs. McCloskey ain't a good scout. And things be in the hell they are, the back of the police station.
Okay, Nathan. Oh, say, you know who else is looking for action? Oh, Sky Nelson. Sky Nelson. Sky Nelson. Well, I never get 
been much done. But if everybody is like I, I might say Mindy sells much more cheesecake in school. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, did I never know you to be a betting man? You always take a percentage off the top. Well, I thought for a long time to say how much you want a little bit of action. I will bet you a thousand dollars and yesterday Mindy sold more cheesecake in school. See? Let me tell you a story. Well, I'm not sure I want to tell you a story. When I was a young man about to go out into the world, my father says to me a very valuable thing. He says to me like this. Son, the old guy says, I am sorry I am not able to bank on you to a very large store. But not having any potatoes to give you, I am now going to stake you some very valuable advice. One of these days in your travels, the guy's going to come to you, and he's going to show you a nice brand new deck of cards, on which the seal is not yet broken. And he's going to offer to bet you that he can make the jack of spades jump out of the deck and squirt cider in your ear. But son, do not bet this man. For as sure as you stand there, you are going to wind up with an ear full of cider. <laughs> now Nathan, I do not claim you can clock me in his However, if you're really looking for some action, I'm willing to bet you the same 1,000 that you do not know the color of the necktie you have on. <laughs> well... Uh, no bet! White! And Nathan we took Adelaide to the drugstore and she said for you to be sure to pick her up out of the show at the hot box since the the Dolby Lights! Yes, dear! Uh, I mean yes, I mean yes, I mean yes. dear. That is husband Dolby if I ever heard it. Nathan, you are trapped. Adelaide, you have the kind of girl that is most difficult to unload. But I don't want to unload. I love Adelaide. And besides, I'm glad we got a doll. Well, if a guy didn't have a doll, then you would holler at I'm not putting the rap on those. I just say a guy should have them around when he wants to. And they are easy to find. No, 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 not real high class those. Oh, maybe. Bigger in weight for age, all those are the same. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where comes you in that, though? Here comes you going to the battle all alone with that. I like to travel life. If I wish to take a doll with me to Havana, there's a large assortment of ale. But like I said, not real high class though. Oh, any doll you need. Coffee is so good, I can't understand why it's in a sink. 
Like that. 
what after about two years? <laughs>
Christmas in Lady Season. Great, just so we don't have to take that doll to the manor. The manor? It couldn't take that doll to New Rochelle. Where's Nathan? He ought to get the crap game started. I'm uh, probably looking for Adelaide. She's mad at him again. Oh, that Miss Adelaide. Always taking his mind off of honest work. It's such a shame a smart businessman like Nathan has to go and fall in love with his own fiance. That is his weakness, and we should be tolerant of that, because I am told it is a worldwide weakness. Look! What's playing at the Roxy? I'll tell you what's playing at the Roxy. A picture about a Minnesota man so in love with a Mississippi girl that he packs everything up and moves all the way to the Roxy. That's what's playing at the Roxy. What's in the Daily News? I'll tell you what's in the Daily News. Story about a guy who wanted to like a small room with what otherwise would have been his union dues. That's what's in the Daily News. What's happening all over? I'll tell you what's happening all over. Guy sitting home by television said he once used to be something of a rover. That's what's happening all over. Love is a thing that has legs on. And it looks like Nathan's just another victim. Yes, sir, when you see a guy just on the side.
having me. I couldn't help over here. General, my name is Sky Masterson, former Senate. How do you do? How do you do? I wish to protest the closing of this mission. I believe Miss Sarah could be a big success here. I'm glad to hear you say that, but I'm not so certain. The dollar will get you ten. What? General, <laughs> can I make a suggestion? Yes. I hope to come to the mission tomorrow night. Find out for yourself. Don't you think that would be a good idea? Well, if I thought the mission had a chance. General, I personally guarantee you one does of genuine sinners. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs>
give your bath for dinner. We shall at least let them know the wedding date. Gee, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could get married tomorrow night? Might have to show the whole bath! Well, you need time for a license and a blood testing. You cut a lump. What? You could drive down to Maryland. What's the name of that town? Pimlico. I'm Pimlico, no name. That's Elkton. They'll marry you right away. They don't ask you for a blood test. Unhealthy? Nathan, that is a great idea. Hello, I'll let you my getaway car. I need my Buick. Nathan, <laughs> let's do it! Well, what the hell? Only enough to act as a 
You know, this would be a wonderful way to get milk to bring children. <laughs>
before. This is your time of day, isn't it? How do you like it? It's so peaceful and wonderful. You finally have something I've known for quite a while. My time of day is the dark time. A couple of days before dawn, when the street belongs to the cop and the janitor with the mop and the grocery clerks are all gone. When the smell of the
what I meant. It's no good, Sly. You said it yourself. It's no good. Why not? What the hell kind of doll are you in? I'm a mission doll. <laughs>
Sky, have you seen Miss Adelaide? Huh? I bring a message from Nathan. I wish he left his own messages. What's the message? Where's Nathan? It's this way. Nathan's aunt in Pittsburgh has suddenly been taken ill with uh, a... A rare tropical disease? Yeah, that's not bad. Anyway, Nathan has to, you know... The message. Where's me? Big Jewel being a big loser does not wish the game to terminate. And he is being most consistent. So, the game moves place and the game goes on. Nicely, where's the crap game? What, you looking for some action? Not at the moment. But I do want to talk to some of the guys. You see, nicely, I gave a mock to, well, somebody. And I kind of like to clean it up as well. I'll talk to you outside. I'm this message. Oh, yeah. Adelaide, Nathan's in Pittsburgh with a rare tropical ant. <laughs> what? I don't understand. Sky and Nathan have to be here tonight for a laundry. Is it that crack game again? I was surprised. But he promised to change. Change, change. Why is it the minute you don't get a guy you like, you take him right in for alteration?
I didn't know that you were going to get stuck on him. I'll get over it. Well, what do you want to get over it for? It is a pneumonia. The man I love will not be a gambler. And if you love him, you not. will not be a gambler. Sir, dear, I've always taken care of you. All I want is for you to be happy. Snake eyes again. 
Zero one. What Scott? What the hell is this? I went to inform you my temporary you don't have a long task to pay. You don't have to pay. You won. I thought you took me south of that. You thought wrong. Get up, you Jew! I am now at the daughter of all you, but with my dice! What did you say? I said with them dice he can't make a pass to save his soul. Well, maybe I can make a pass to save his. And yours, and yours, and his. <laughs> I'm going to roll the dice. I will bet each of you a thousand dollars against your soul. One thousand bucks against the mark of your souls. If I win, you all show up at the mission tonight. Is it okay? Let me get this. If you lose, we each get a thousand bucks. And if you win, we got to turn up at the Mission Bell of Cabaret. If I win, you guys all show up at the Save Your Soul Mission. One meeting. Well, that's okay by me, by me too! <laughs> and you too, me. Thousand dollars against your soul. Me? I don't even know if I got one. You got one someplace. I just fell so. S O! Alright! <laughs> Put down your markers. Give me the dice. Give me room. Come on, quit stalling. Roll! What's the matter, Scott? Are you turning chicken? You've seen me roll for a hundred Gs, but I got a little more than dough riding on this one. They call you Lady Bunk, but there is room for doubt. At times you have a very unladylike way of running out. You're on this date with me. The pickings have been flush. And yet before this evening is over, you might give me the brush. You might forget your manners. You might refuse to stay. The best that I can do is pray.
we're all the same. After all, we are civilized people. We do not have to conduct ourselves like a swamp. Oh my god, how racist. You're my girl. You're my girl? Ha! <laughs> you thought it was so easy, but you laugh at it. How can you carry on like this one last year alone? It's no use, Nathan. I have succeeded and you're not being able to upset me no more. I have got you completely out of mind.
watch his face. <laughs>
Nathan, come on! Gee, I like to pick the busiest time of day. Okay, let's go. Where's the wedding? Oh, the smoke. What's the matter? I didn't get a place for the wedding. <laughs> Congratulations, Nathan. Oh, well, you wait to five, you'll be very happy. What Obadiah means is... Oh. Oh.